as people develop that sense of awareness of the of the different regions of themselves, um, it changes their whole relationship to embodiment in a sense. They they actually feel more present as the whole body. And one of the things I found, I, I worked for a while with a psychologist uh, named Judith Blackstone who developed this uh, type of uh, meditation of inhabiting the body, it's called the realization process, um, is that in, in many ways, I think just uh, part of our social life, we get partitioned off from parts of ourselves. You know, it's almost like we become compartmentalized in our physicality and our embodiment. And this somatic inquiry coupled with the Feldenkrais lessons becomes a way of actually fully inhabiting yourself, you could say, or more fully. And with the process of aging, um, it's a wonderful experience for, for many of the, the people I've worked with because it gives them a, a renewed sense of contact with themselves physically and a sense of uh, the richness of the body, and 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 um, you could say that the life of the body, which is our main vehicle of life. So there's a kind of renewal for some people that starts to happen with this, and a sense of uh, interconnectedness, a, a sense of unification throughout themselves that mm. often comes at the end of these lessons. People will say, "I just feel like I'm here in a completely different way." And, and sometimes when we bring the eyes into it, you know, the reports standing up and visual, the visual field has changed. They've gone from a more concentric focus into focusing out into the periphery or having a global focus. So there's a lot of byproducts. You start to develop a sensitivity to the way in which the different parts of yourself do want to connect with each other. And that sensitivity is almost like... Um, it's a, it's a type of intelligence, you could say, the body's in, intelligent ways of organizing itself for action and perception. And it starts to pervade all different parts of life. And the, and the way sometimes people report on this is they, they'll be sitting in their chair and we've done a lesson like we did today and, and at their computer, maybe during a Zoom session or something. And they'll, they'll suddenly realize, wait a minute, my head is not in a good relationship with my pelvis. And they'll just do a little micro adjusting and they'll realize, oh, I'm like habitually looking down. I'm not even looking up. And when I look up there, now that frees up my spine. So that becomes more of a normal thing rather than just something you only get when you're taking a Feldenkrais class. Mm -hmm. Or it's simple things like some, someone's uh, reaching to open a cabinet door and they realize, wait a minute, I'm just reaching only with my hand. The rest of me is anchored here, it's not moving. And then they'll rotate a little bit with their body to reach into it because we've done lessons that connect the arms with the ribs. So that awareness picks up speed over time and, and just becomes, I would say, more a normal part of life for people. <music>